Welcome to Vegas Showbiz. Today we are going to talk about the magic of Jen Kramer. Last night we went to the historic Westgate Hotel for our first magic show. So today we're going to give you a mother-daughter review on what we thought. Yeah. Okay, so just let's start us off with your first impressions, Elise. Um, well, I thought it was going to be like a pretty decent magic show, like maybe not as good as some of the more popular ones, but I thought it would be pretty decent. Okay, and when you when we got there, what were your thoughts? Um, I still thought the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, so your first magic show. Okay. What was your favorite part, we'll say? Probably when I got to go up on stage and help during a magic trick. Okay, so we won't jump too far ahead. Let's tell them a little bit about the show. Um, overall, it was a pretty great show. There were a lot of magic tricks that I don't think many people have seen before. That's true. You know, I've been to a lot of magic shows, and she did some cool things. Let's start off from the beginning, because, you know, that very first trick I've never seen before. Do you know the one I'm talking about? Um, the one with the calculator? No, I'm talking about the dresses. Oh. So let's tell about that one. So there was a selection of dresses and she, Jen Kramer, she asked someone from the audience to pick a dress and she was like standing behind like these dresses and then she just popped into the dress um, there that a woman chose. Right, so she had some um visuals of the dresses and then they were hanging in garment bags and jen stood behind the garment bags and boom she, she was, was in a new dress yeah i've never seen that one before it was like a blink and she was changed yeah right was, in front of us too so that was cool. pretty crazy yeah so then after that she did uh, some cool card tricks which i've been to some magic shows i've seen card tricks but hers were pretty cool yeah yeah what do you have to say about the magic card tricks the magic card tricks were really good. There was also a card trick that I really liked where um, she asked someone in the audience for their phone to borrow for to put in a calculator. And then she chose someone to put in a number that they heard because she told us to yell out a random number. Mm -hmm. And she told someone to put in that number and then divide it. And multiply it and add another number. So we took the audience participation right and got a really big number together yeah. and yeah. at the beginning there was a video and it showed her and it showed some she was doing some tricks with some cards and then the answer was those numbers it was just like three thousand five hundred and something and with was, with cards yeah and then in yeah. the video it showed three five and then the other numbers yeah so we watched a video she told us there would be clues then we did a calculator trick together as a whole audience participation, right? Yeah, we were and, supposed to um, d multiply, but I accidentally divided. And that was okay. She said it didn't matter. So then we watched the video again, and she stopped it on the card trick. And the card trick matched the number on the calculator. It was pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So another one that I have never seen before, I know these were new to you, but... I've never seen the one with taste before. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the one she did with okay. taste? So again, she called someone from the audience and she came up from the stage and there were a selection of drinks. It showed like the names on them and then she and then Jen Kramer put a like mask over herself so she couldn't see and um, then she walked away and she tasted the drinks and then she, 
Jen Kramer knew what drinks she was tasting. Right, so it was pretty amazing. She took a woman completely random out of the audience. She said they locked taste buds. How? Remember how they locked taste buds? Um, they shared something really sour. Yeah, they shared like a sour lemon. Lemon, yeah. And then she said their taste buds were locked. So she put the blindfold on. She walked as far, far away on the stage as she could. And then she had the audience member drink one of the four random drinks. Mm -hmm. And she said, the first one I remember, she said, hmm, I don't have, there's no flavor to this one. You must be drinking water. Yeah. Yeah. And, and she did it a couple of times and then we mixed up the cups a lot. She mixed up the cups so much, right? Yeah. And did it a few more times and I think we were all kind of shocked on at that point, right? Yeah, it was a pretty cool magic trick. That was really cool. I've never seen that one before. So after the taste one, do you remember what was next? Um, actually no. Well, I think that was when you kind of got to be part of the show. Oh. So the next one, Jen brought out a box. Remember, she said it was a box from when she was almost your age. Yeah, she, she, I'm pretty sure she said she was like 10. Mm -hmm. And she decorated a box and she put her favorite magic tricks in it. And she gave me a key to open the box and I would open it at the end of the show. But she, the, uh, the box was like floating in the air and she said you could feel free to check on it any time during the show. Right, so she put the box out on the stage and she had you come up and inspect it. Don't forget to say that. Yeah. You inspected it to make sure it was like not a trick box. It was a perfectly and so then like sh solid, box. right. And then she locked it mm -hmm. and she hoisted it all the way up at the top. And she made you the what? The key master. The key master. You got to hold the key for the whole show. And then, so she did a couple of other tricks while the box was floating and we were all checking on it occasionally, right? Yeah. My personal favorite trick that um, there was, so there was like this social media page where again, she pulled someone from the audience to come and there would be these beach balls and they would throw them to people and then they would say like, on his Instagram page, his love story, his amount of friends, and his about. About status, yeah. 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 So there were some funny suggestions, all from kids in, in the audience, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that's when the box came back into play. So she, you know, you forgot to tell him that before that she, she did what? She took my... She took my mom's She took phone. my brand new phone, right? And yeah. she broke it. Yeah. She totally broke it, and I was a little panicked. Yeah, she got the iPhone 15 Pro. And then to replace it, she gave me the iPhone 15 Pro, which was really... Really, it was really A play school toy phone. Yeah, it... Yeah, it was pretty funny. We were laughing. She mm -hmm. said, you know, all you have to do is talk to Siri, because she's right here, because there was a face on the phone. We were laughing pretty hard. Yeah. So all the, for that time, my phone was gone. And then she did the, the Facebook um, social media trick, and then the box came back, remember? Yeah. So down came the box. And I came up onto the stage to open it, and mm -hmm. I would be the first one to see it. But then there was a, like, paper, like, like a roll, scroll. Like yeah. a scroll in there. So she had me hold one end, and it said, um, I'm, it said whoever the name that came up, it said, like blah 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 is too average. To... It said all the answers. Yeah. And some names of the people. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Yeah. And then what else was in and there? And then the last thing um, that was in the box was my mom's phone. My phone, which was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Yeah. So we've definitely given some major spoil alerts. We don't normally do that. Yeah. But that's okay. This was a pretty awesome magic show, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect for families. Again, it's at the Westgate Hotel, which is historical. Do you remember why it's historical? Uh, because Elvis used to there. Another really cool thing about the show was that there's like trivia questions about the hotel when uh, you're waiting if you the get show. there early. Right, get there early. So that brings me to a pro tip for how we got our tickets. Um, Check out houseseats.com for tickets. It's a subscription-based 
program for seats here in Vegas. You can do anywhere from two months. They have a two month subscription or a year long subscription for one ticket, two tickets or four tickets. Um, this is one of several shows that we've seen now with house seats. It's also one of several times that we've been in the front row, which yeah. was pretty awesome. Probably wouldn't have been a big part of the show if we weren't in the front row. So we definitely recommend checking out house seats. We've been having a ton of fun on the subscription. Yeah. Um, the magic of Jen Kramer was amazing. I can't wait to take one of my other kids back. We highly recommend it. Super fun family show. Really a good show for all ages. Don't you agree? Yeah, I completely agree. Okay, one last thing. Like and subscribe, can you ask him? Can, uh, like and subscribe. Please join us on Vegas Showbiz. Like and subscribe so you can see us on the next show review. Thanks everyone. Goodbye. Bye.